Uh, hi, this is another one of those very simple problems that we don't really need to go through the template, but we are going through it just to get used to the template, as I said uh, in the past. So this is relating temperature to heat flux, but doing so graphically. So in our problem solving template, the first part is simply defining uh, um, th this is our part one, defining or formulating the problem. Uh, basically, uh, we want to see what we are solving for and the schematic and, and uh, maybe an assumption. So what are we solving for? We are solving for heat flux. Heat uh, flux is what we are solving for. Um, and uh, the, the problem is we have some material that's being heated and the heat comes from the bottom. So uh, it's hotter here and, uh, and uh, colder, relatively colder here. And uh, the temperature profile looks something like this. Uh, um, um, th this is the, the bottom and, and, and this is the top. So we have the temperature profile and so th um, th this is given. Temperature profile is given already. I, as I said, it's a very simple problem. Um, so let's see how we can solve So the last thing in this part of problem solving is to look, uh, look at the assumptions. And notice that these are not assumptions that you are making here. These are already given to you. Now, in a real world problem solving, these would not be given to you and you would have to make them. But people who make them, they make it based on the types of fundamentals that you pick up in this class. So we're not ready to make these assumptions ourselves. Um, but uh, they are given to you. We simply need to note what the assumptions are. So the first one is it is only heat conduction. We don't have any flow. And the second one is uh, that it's, it's a 1D problem. So heat transfer is only in the vertical direction. So it's heat is only going in the uh, y or the vertical direction.